Uh, what we will be uh, seeing now is the process, but uh, now the process is going to be very slow. Uh, we do it slowly for the purposes of explanation and uh, for the purpose that uh, our uh, photographer can actually take some photos. Uh, as you've seen before, I don't know if uh, anybody timed the process, but it took about uh, 70 to 80 seconds to complete the switch station, the switch process. Right now, uh, we will run it uh, step by step. And uh, the first step basically is for the driver to uh, park the car uh, on top of the uh, exchange area, uh, the switch area. Uh, as you see, uh, the driver uh, was driving the car before, and uh, at that point, the driver is instructed to switch off the ignition key. Uh, if he doesn't uh, turn off the ignition key, uh, the system will not allow the battery switch. Uh, in order to make sure that the process is very safe, we are running here three different computers. One computer is inside the vehicle. This is a standard uh, vehicle management system. Uh, it is on board every other vehicle that we have today. Uh, the second computer is a computer which uh, uh, runs the station. This is a fully automatic computer. It doesn't need any operator. And the third computer is actually located inside the battery pack. The battery packs are very safe. They have a computer which monitors the safe operation of the process and the safe operation of the battery uh, throughout the entire uh, cycle uh, and of course throughout the entire period where it is uh, on the car and uh, driving the car. Uh, so uh, once the vehicle is in position, the first thing which happens is that uh, the robot uh, which is uh, located under the vehicle is actually getting a fresh charge battery pack which is stored in our storage area, which is in the back side of the station. So we will, we will ask our operator now to move this uh, fresh charge battery pack and be, bring it to the area uh, where uh, you can all see it. The speed of uh, motion can actually be increased, uh, so it can move actually faster. Okay, so what you can see here, this is a fresh charge battery pack. Now, if you don't believe me, uh, on normal day, normal condition, when this battery pack is assembled to the vehicle, there are 400 volts here. But you can see I can touch those with my fingers and nothing happens. So anybody who says it is dangerous, then this is not really the case here. <laughs> now, this battery pack needs to go into the vehicle, but before that, we really need to remove the other battery pack. So what happens is that we have a lifting uh, device uh, which basically is an electric electrically operated hydraulic uh, platform. You see, this is a very simple platform. It's actually flat. We can interface different types of battery packs. It is not designed to meet the specification of this battery pack. We can interface big packs or small packs. It's just a flat surface. And uh, what happens now is that the station computer connects to the computer which is on board the vehicle and ask it if it is possible to release the battery pack. The onboard computer on the vehicle makes sure that it is safe to remove the battery pack, meaning that this electrical connector here is no longer energized. So uh, right now, what happened is that the station computer requests the permission to release the battery pack. The vehicle controller makes sure it's safe and release the pack. As you can see, the vehicle itself moves a little bit because a 250 kilogram battery was just now released from the vehicle itself. It's like, okay, it's like, right uh, now... The movement is like uh, two American people leaving the car. Yeah, exactly. And uh, what's nice about it is it's uh, really allowing the car to move wherever it wants. So if those uh, sensations are softer, uh, they will not rise that much. And if they are stiffer, they would have mu uh, raised much more. So uh, right now, uh, the battery pack is released and it is supported by our platform and it is now lowered back to ground level. Okay, the next step will be uh, to uh, move the fresh charge battery pack under the vehicle and it is now in position and now we'll ask our operator to push it up and this is now being hydraulically pushed up into the vehicle. 
in the last phases, there is a process where the battery self-aligns itself to the, to the vehicle. So the vehicle doesn't have to be really that precisely located. The battery pack can actually be uh, adjusting itself to the battery pack. And if you look, uh, pay attention right now at that point, you can see that the battery pack is actually not parallel to the vehicle. So uh, most engineers will say this is impossible to do now because the pack is not really parallel to the vehicle. How can you mount it? Well, the trick is actually in the car. There is a special uh, latching mechanism which uh, it doesn't really care what is the orientation of the car, it will pick the battery anyway. So uh, now we'll ask our station computer to instruct the car to uh, lock uh, the battery into the vehicle. And you can see the latching mechanism actually pulls the car towards the battery and pulls the battery towards the car. So it doesn't really matter, they both just get together regardless of the suspension or the uh, body uh, uh, specification of the vehicle. During this action, the electrical connection between the vehicle and the uh, battery were established as well. And uh, right now, the car is really ready to leave. We just need to raise the platform, and the platform will now go down. Not only that, we will send the battery pack, the depleted battery pack, into the station so it can be charged. And we can actually instruct our driver by giving him a, a red, a green light there. Uh, to leave uh, the station and you can all see that uh, basically the process was completed and the battery will uh, actually cause this car to move and uh, you see the vehicle is very silent you can hardly notice it's uh, moving this is it thank you very much a presentation, presentation and explanation was done by better place chief engineer you have Heiko. Thank you very much.